Hi, this is Corliss Blakely, and I wanted to show you how I paint a black and white watercolor. This is going to go kind of fast because I wanted to show you how to paint the whole painting. I'm adding water. I like to work on hot press. This is actually um, working just with Daniel Smith black watercolor. As you can see, I'm putting in the sky. One thing when you're putting in the sky in the background, you have to move in really quickly because you don't want the paint, uh, the water to dry. At this point, I really don't know what the painting is going to look like. One thing about it with watercolor is you just have to kind of watch what your paints are doing and follow them. That's the magic of watercolors. You never know what you're going to get. Each painting has its own personality. So you really don't want to control it too much in the beginning. Just watching it flow and taking different paths. You can see I'm adding a little bit more paint and making it a little bit darker. I want the trees in the foreground to look a little bit deeper. And now I'm trying to put in just the reflections of the snow and just bringing in the water and dragging it down. That's the fun about painting in watercolor. You never know what you're going to get in the end. And I, at this point, I really still don't know what I'm doing as far as the end results, but I'm just moving everything around, getting a little bit of more detail now. I think I'm gonna be putting in a fir tree in the background. Now you can see the sky is starting to dry, so I'm going to be able to add more detail in the background. I'm only working with um, three brushes in this painting, uh, a large one to spread the sky, a smaller one, and then these detailed ones, which are really wonderful for putting in the trees. And you can only do this part after the sky is totally dry. These narrow brushes hold a lot of paint, so you can get a lot of brush strokes out of each one. I love painting winter scenes, especially with the black and whites, because you have the contrast of all the branches and all the trees in, in, in the snow. I'm going to come back in now and I'm painting in a tree in the foreground. It's going to be much larger and darker. trying not to get my branches too straight. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here comes another tree. And I'll be adding some bushes around the tree. And the painting is almost done. I hope you've enjoyed this. and I'll be doing more videos in the future. Just remember to go to my website, artistinvermont.com.